hello YouTube makeup lovers so I wanted to do a nail video for you guys I have videos on my favorite nail products and like favorite nail polishes and I have showed you my nail polish collection but I really have never done a video on my nail polish routine so I thought it would be a really good idea to do it today because I'm gonna be doing my nails so I figured I will show you exactly how I do them when I do them myself I do love going to get a manicure and pedicure I mean the people who are professionals do it way better than I would ever do it to myself. But a lot of the times when I just don't feel like doing it or I don't feel like spending the money, i rather just do it myself. It's also kind of like a little bit of me time when I can just relax, put a movie on and do my nails. I actually like to do that as well. So I'm going to show you my routine just to show you how I do it when I were to do it myself. And I'm going to show you the products that I like to use that I pretty much have been using for years. It's not like I'm going out and switching products for my, you know, hands and feet. Pretty much just the same thing. And I just go back and I continue buying the same products over and over again. The only thing I pretty much change are the nail polishes. You know, I'm testing out new brands and new colors, which I love to do. But as far as the routine, has not changed been doing it for years and now I'm going to show you my favorite products and how I do my nails. So the first thing I want to share with you is definitely the nail polish remover that I use. I use from some CVS. This is the one that I love to use and I like to put it in this little container where it's kind of like a little pump and you can squish it down. You can get these pumps at any beauty supply. They have different ones. As far as cuticle remover, I really like using this Blue Cross cuticle remover this one i have been using pretty much since i was in high school the first time i ever bought it and this is actually a new bottle but what i do is i put the contents of the bottle into one of these bottles like this that you can buy at a beauty supply because you know it has a little brush so it's really nice to just like put it on your nails and it's really easy with a bottle like this this stands up nicely you know so you don't have to be dipping this or anything like that and like squirting it out you can just use it in this little bottle so that's a really good tip you can get all these containers at the beauty supply i also use cuticle scissors like these let me show you these are just revlon i buy them at cvs um i think this is the second pair that i have it says it is a full jaw nipper from Revlon. I really like these. These are the ones that I've always used. The ones I had before these were also Revlon and then I just bought new ones just because I hadn't had them. I hadn't changed them in a really long time. So these are the cuticle removing scissors that I use and I'm going to show you exactly how I remove my cuticles. I also really love this but I want to say be careful with it. This is a cuticle pusher looks like this i bought it at another beauty supply it was about five dollars one end is like this and then the other end is kind of like this for cleanup this i never use it's really pointy and it actually scares me it's not really what i use to clean my nails once i paint them just to make sure that they're nice and neat i rather use little wood sticks i don't like the end of this i think other cuticle pushers have different ends so maybe i would get a different one because this one's really pointy but this is really good to push down your cuticles like this. I would just say to be really careful because this is, it's like a really, how do I say it? It's like an edge. It's not like a knife or anything like that, but it can cut you. I mean, I have cut myself before where maybe I'm not paying attention and I'm doing my toes and I stuck this into the side of my nail on my toe and it hurt for like a week. So be careful. Use it lightly because it can scratch your nail and you don't want that. You just want to push the cuticle very, very lightly, just a little bit to just get it all out there so that you can clip it out faster. So that is how I do it. But this is a really good product, but just putting it out there to be careful with it. It's not something that you should be like pushing your nail so hard because you will see that you can scratch your nail and you don't want to ruin your nails when you do that. These little pumice sticks, it's kind of like a little pumice sticks and these are really good. A lot of people don't like to clip their cuticles off. I do, I've been doing it for years, so I feel like not nah, I started, I don't really want to stop. I don't like it. I get a lot of cuticles and I try to do it at least I try to fix my hands at least every week. If I go to the manicurist, you know, I'll do like my hands and feet 
and then I won't go back to her for two weeks but I will redo my nails myself my toes last two weeks no problem but my hands last about a week nicely where they're like no chips or anything an entire week and then I just like to paint them again I don't really take out my cuticles again until I go back to do them again at the professional so um I do like these little pumice sticks these are really really good to push your cuticles back so if you do not like to clip your cuticles this is a really good recommendation I'm pushing them back as far as like nail file and stuff like that I do like these type of nail files these big ones I hate the little skinny ones that we used to have back in the day I really hate them they do not work and like really these big ones that are nice and rough I mean these you really you know file your nail really nicely I like to file my nails square so um, these are really good for that and they're very sturdy so I really like that I also use a buffer something like this once I'm done filing my nails I just buff them out a little bit which I'm gonna show you my routine just showing you all the products that I use first this again you can get at any beauty supply super inexpensive another item that I really like is this let me show you this was a little gift that i got um and i really like it it's really great for cleaning your nail when you paint them it has like a little brush especially for nails and what i do sometimes is that i fill this up a little bit with nail polish remover then i dip the little brush and i lightly swipe it on the side of my nail like this and you just pretty much go around the nail and it cleans up really nicely the other end that is like this is also good for cleaning around the nails once you've painted it this you can also find at a beauty supply but I really really like this one this one it says it's the squabble French the 12 so I know people probably use it for different things I like to use it for cleanup around the nail once I've painted to make sure that everything is nice and neat Another very important item that I use is a nail clipper like this. This is also from Revlon. You can use any nail clipper. I'm very careful when I clip my nails. I don't just clip it, boom, in the middle and clip the whole thing off. This is rounded right here and it's supposed to be like the shape of a nail, but I really wouldn't trust that. I think it even hurts if you were to just like try to cut your nail in one little clip. I do it carefully. I do a little bit in the corner, a little bit on this corner, and then a little bit in the front. And then I file it so that it's perfectly square on the top part and nice and straight. So just be really careful with that. But I love nail clippers to cut my nails. I like to keep pretty much my nails pretty short. Not too short, but just like right there. The last item that I think is a must for doing your nails are these little manicure sticks. I have a whole box that I bought. I think this entire box was like less than two dollars and it came with a gazillion of these little wooden sticks these are the ones that i like to use to clean up my nails i like this part of the stick the pointy part to just kind of like go around the entire nail and the other side is really helpful too but mainly the pointy one is the one that i like to use so now i'm just going to show you exactly how i were to do it if i were to do it right now I'll show you how i do my left hand just because i am right handed and it's a lot easier to do my left hand whenever i try to do my right hand i need like full concentration to get the job done i do recommend that if you do your nails yourself you do if you're a righty or a lefty you know do the hand that's hardest first do not even paint your nails like sometimes I wouldn't recommend you putting like your base coat on both hands and then doing you know one hand first and then the other what I like to do is I like to do my right hand first I actually do the base coat and then I do the two coats and then the top coat without even touching my left hand so do your whole hand that is hardest for you to do first and then once you have it completely done wait for it to dry a little bit and then go ahead and do your left hand completely i think that is just the easiest way to do it if it's a little complicated unless you're those people who are like fabulous and the other hand is like so easy to do and no problem then you know do it your way but for me it's really hard for me to do my right hand i'm not very good with my left hand it takes a lot of time so sometimes so i do use one of these little things for mani pedis where you put your water in there and you kind of like let it soak other times if i'm in a rush i don't do it these things are fairly cheap cheap 
cheap they're not very expensive and I also have those that you can buy those little foot spas so you can put your feet in I use them once in a while if I'm really in the mood to go all out with my manicure but other times like for today I'm not really gonna use so the it very first thing that I would do is definitely cut my nails take, take my nail clippers and the way I like to do it is I just do a little bit on one side a little bit on the other side and then down the middle I don't like to just do it all in one big snip and then I take my nail file and then I start just filing straight from side to side because I like the nail to be square so I pretty much just file them like this I don't like to file the sides very much unless I have to I frankly just don't like to have my nails looking too narrow because as it is my fingers are like that and my nails aren't very wide like my nail bed isn't very wide so it's narrow and if I were to file the sides I would make them even more narrow than they already are so I pretty much just like to file straight all right so now that these nails are filed the way that I like them the next step is to soften the cuticles now if I had been you know soaking my hands in water it, you know, they would already be nice and soft, but I haven't, but just for the sake of the video. And a lot of times, I actually do this sometimes too, that I don't even put them in water, especially if I'm in a rush or something. And sometimes I just like to paint them on my bed and I just pretty much put my little cuticle liquid on my cuticles like this. And then I just kind of let them sit for a little bit. And then I'll use the little pumice stick that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And then I'll just kind of push the cuticles down like this. Next, I'll just take the cuticle pusher and I will just do this softly like this. And then you see all the cuticles really pushing all the way to the bottom of the nail. But I try to do it soft because like I mentioned, this is pretty sharp, so you want to make sure that you don't scratch your nail and overdo it. So I just do it like this. This really gets any cuticles that are really like stuck to your nail. And then I just go in with my cuticle scissors. This is like a weird angle because I have the tripod of the camera right here as you can see. And you just do it very carefully not to nip yourself. Sometimes it's even good to do it like this if you put your hand like this. And then you can really see it. I really just try to take out what I've pushed down. I don't try to go in there and really like, you know, cut it or anything. Whatever came out is what I touch and any little you know, cuticles that are just like lying around. Sometimes you get those little things that lift up like little cuticles little skin that lifts up that's really painful that I also do nip if I have it but thankfully I don't have any of that right now next I like to buff the nails with this I just basically you know do this to the nails Wait, if you're wondering what this is, it is a hair clip that I have tied around the tripod because it's keeping my camera in place. So it's a little random trick. I just turned it a little bit so it wouldn't bug. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of nail polish from here, nail polish remover with a little cotton oval. And I'm just going to wipe the nails down. So now I'm going to take my base coat. I have really been liking this Formula X base coat. I got this at Sephora. That is the first thing that I'm going to apply on my nails. And let that dry for a I'm bit. I'm going to apply my nail polish. Today I'm going to use this Zoya nail polish. This one is in the color Belinda. I have really been loving this purple. So I'm just going to show you how I apply my nail polish. I put a Kleenex here just because that's where I'm going to clean off anything that I have to wipe so very important for me to get it really nice I like to I literally put the paint on one nail 
and make sure you go to both sides. And what I like to do is I like to take the wooden stick, right, and just wipe the side like this, wipe it on the Kleenex, wipe the other side just like this. I do one nail and then I wipe, and then I also like to make sure that the area under here is nice and clean. So I literally do that after each nail. Because if you wait to do all five nails at once and then when you go back to clean it, it's already gonna be too dry. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with a second coat. So for the purpose of this video, as you can see, I'm really only focusing on two nails. If not, this video would be super, super long and it's already long enough. And I also wanted to mention that I use this exact same routine and the exact same products when I am doing my pedicure as well. So I pretty much use the same thing I'm showing you in this video for my manicure and for my pedicure. Now for a better cleanup, what I like to do is I like to take my little brush, I dip it in nail polish remover, and then I just come around here and it's kind of like you're painting, but it cleans really nicely. See? Just like that, and it comes out so nicely with this little brush. I think it's even better than using um, some cotton on the stick. And then the last step is to apply my out the door this is a fast drying top coat and this is always good just because I you know sometimes I do my nails at night time and if you go to sleep you don't want to get those sheet marks and then this I just put on the top but that is pretty much what I do when I do my nails so that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you out. I also wanted to recommend to you guys some creams that are really, really great for your hands and feet. The first one is this Ahava Dirt Mud Sensitive Skin Relief. It is the Enriched Intensive Foot Cream. This is a really, really great foot cream and I always like to put it on my feet at nighttime. That's a really good tip for keeping your hands and feet really nice. And then I also have been loving, this one is fairly new, the Ahava Dermud Intensive Hand Cream. Also, I just love this Ahava brand, it's really nice. You can buy these at Ulta or at Bed Bath & Beyond and you can use the coupons at Bed Bath & Beyond. This hand cream I actually got for free with my Ulta points or whatever, I was a level five when I got the little certificate and this is one of the options. So you can get this for free if you are a level five. Or I think a six two, you can combine them to get whatever gift you want with the points that you have. So I just really hope that this video helped you out and that you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.